Hello everyone, welcome to another Stand the Upright Reboot video and in this video I'm gonna go ahead and talk about D4C which is Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap with an attribute of Tough. Now what Tough does is it decreases your damage by 10% but it increases your health by 50%. So as you can see here, your standard attack damage has gone down to 12.6, while the stand health has went up to 780. The only thing that hasn't changed is the barrage length, which is 5 seconds, and the stand tier, which is S tier. Now, how do we even get ourselves D4C? You can get D4C in two ways, and that is either from stand arrows or charged arrows. Now the percentage of you getting a D4C without any attribute from a stand arrow is going to be 1%, whilst from a charge arrow you have a 5% chance of getting it. Now I recommend you using a charge arrow than a stand arrow when you're trying to get yourself something easier. Now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and of course uh, tell you the percentage of you getting D4C with an attribute of tough. Let's start with the stand arrow. The percentage of you getting D4C with an attribute of tough is going to be 0.09%. How about the charge arrow? What is the percentage of me getting a D4C with an attribute of tough? Now the percentage of that is 0.045%. So I'm telling you this now, get yourself D4C using a charge arrow than a stand arrow, okay? Because it's totally not worth it using a stand arrow when you're trying to get yourself a D4C. With a specific attribute, especially that. So yes, now that you know how to get a D4C, let's go ahead and of course show you the damage and the animations of this stand. So let's start with the first one, which is going to be the left mouse button. It deals 16 damage with a critical hit of 22. The right mouse button, which is the power punch, deals 24 damage. Next one's going to be the barrage hold E. It deals 8 damage per punch, which should last 5 seconds. Next one's going to be the heavy punch. Click R. It deals 40 damage. It should also deal knockback and stun. Next one's going to be the pistol fire. This one is range and go a little bit farther away. Click T and it should deal 49 damage when the bullet strikes your enemy next one is going to be the merge clones and what this does is when you click x you're going to create two clones which deals 34 damage per punch yeah by the way this clone when you do this skill tree it does not in it does not increase any damage because the damage that it's uh dealing for is your uh, let's see here. Is your it's right? It's supposed to be here. Your player, player, player. Yeah, it's the player damage. It's not. It has nothing to do with the actual stand. I think. So yes, that should be it. Let's go to the next one. The gap teleport, as it says in the name, is teleport. So put uh, you put your cursor. Your mouse cursor to wherever you want to teleport to and then click f and it should teleport to that place a little animation and boom you teleported next one is going to be the dimension hop uh, to do this click z and you're going to get to be teleported to a different dimension which other players cannot go to um either than those who have d4c those who have d4c will get teleported over here so if there's two people that has D4C and they got teleported here, then um, you're dead. You are dead. That's what I just want to say, you're dead. So yes, um, that should be it. So let's go back to our place. You're going to get teleported in one of the uh, spawns that sets in the map. So yeah, that is all of the animations for this stand if you have any question with that go ahead and ask me but for now let's go to the skill tree and see what we can do to make this stand a lot more powerful and the only thing that we can do right now is increase the base damage force so i'm gonna go ahead instant autofill that get out of here and then deal some damage to see if it actually has increased Let's start with the left mouse button, as you can see, 19 damage with a critical hit of 26. The power punch deals 28 damage. The barrage deals 10 damage. 
The Heavy Punch deals 47 damage. The Pistol Fire deals 57 damage. And the last one, the last move that actually deals damage is the Merge Clones, which deals 34.1 damage, the same as it was before. So yes, that should be it for this video. If you have any question about this, then go ahead and ask me. Any question is available, but that should be it. Once again, thanks for watching, and maybe see you again in the next video.